Thank you, Madam President. I'm reading the statement on behalf of Collective Urgence Notre Police Assassin, who couldn't be with us today due to travel restrictions. Brianna Taylor's life matters. George Floyd's life matters. Adama Traore's life matters. Amin Bentounsi's life matters. The lives of Amadou Koume, Abdurrahman Kamara, Hamid Ait Umgar, Hussein El Yemni, and all victims of police violence in the U.S., in France, and beyond matter. The voices of their families and their defenders matter. This is why, while deploring that no commission of inquiry was established into racially motivated police violence in the U.S. and elsewhere, we expect the report to be based primarily on the experiences and contributions of victims and their families, as well as those of the defenders and civil society working on police violence and systemic racism. It's essential that civil society is proactively consulted throughout the drafting process of this report. The report must highlight not only institutional causes and manifestations of racially motivated police violence, but also the individual responsibilities of the perpetrators in order to ensure that justice is done for the victims and their families and that such violations can be prevented in the future. The report should, should issue precise recommendations to states to address and end police, and system, police violence and systemic racism and provide effective remedies to victims and their families. We consider this report to be a first stone in the international community's commitment to finally tackle the problem of racially motivated police violence and to put an end once and for all to this scourge in the U.S., in France, and elsewhere. Our contributions are to your disposal. Our eyes are on you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.